what is up guys welcome to another video on my channel and as i promised i'll keep filming videos not on a daily basis probably not for now at least come on now dog come on man but i'm definitely gonna be uploading every second day Maybe a bit bigger gap in between the days. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? But still, videos are gonna be here. And this video should have been released two days ago. But for some reason, I just couldn't upload it on YouTube. It was just not letting me do it. But it doesn't matter. Here it is today. And we're gonna be making a castle in the most simple way possible so let's get started and as always you know what to do delete this tree all right so first things first if you don't have the extra objects add-on just go here go here where it says edit and then you're gonna see this and now type here extra objects and now you see you have a two versions you had extra objects add curve and mesh you're gonna need to select the mesh for the castle all right once you've done that go to add or press shift a however you like it go to mesh and in extras you have the wall factory now i want you to select it okay so you have a wall here now and now click here and First things first, you need to change the ends. You need to expand it a little bit. And now you can change whatever you want. You can merge blocks. You can choose whether to have openings or not, aka windows. Top arc, you see what I mean. Bottom, you have slots like another openings. Let's say you have even the crannels when you're doing the top of the, the top of the castle. You have a bunch of, you know, a bunch of options here. Even steps, they look cool. Alright, so for now, we're just gonna be needing a basic wall. Alright, so once you, once you add the wall, you change those properties. Click on it, press tab to go to edit mode. Now select here face select, press A to select everything. And now I want you to press Alt S and scale it where bricks slightly overlap, like this. Now you have this here. And you're probably like questioning, how, how, how are we gonna make it like round? It's easy. So press Add Modifier, go to Modifier tab and Add Modifier. We're gonna first need Bevel. And then we're gonna need deform, actually simple deform. And now as you can see, it's like twisted. We don't want that. We want bent, but not on the, not on the X axis, we need the Z axis. And now you can see we're, we're getting something. We're getting something out of it. But I need, to ch I need you to change the angle. It's 365, so basically, we made one one circle all right so this is how you make one part of it if you want more you can go to generate click array and now you have counts too so you have two of those parts and change here the factor x to zero and z to one and now you have an expanded castle right here it doesn't even look that bad and if you insert the textures of course it's gonna look better but now I'm not gonna do that so pretty much I'm finished pretty much for today's video because it's simple I've tried to make it as simple as possible and I think this is the simplest way to do it and the easiest so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.